Hi everyone and welcome back to Techie Anshi. In this video on my channel, we are going to talk about how you can have rounded corners to your container and your Tableau dashboard. So let's go ahead and begin this. For the purpose of this video where we are looking into rounded containers, I'm going to show you two methods. One is by using Figma, the other is by using PowerPoint. But before I talk about how you can design a Figma template, let's see what exactly Figma is, right? So Figma basically is a UI designing platform, which is a free tool that's available and it's very helpful to design top notch UIs. It is also a cloud based browser based application. Unlike other apps, it will help you to design a UI in a web portal. So it is easy to save and access it anywhere on the go. It also has some really great community inspirations that you can use and design your UIs basically by reusing some of these templates that are pre-built in Figma. So these are a few things about Figma, but if you want to know more, you can head on to their website that is figma.com. Now let's get into this video. Let's begin here by navigating to the Figma application. As you know, Figma is a handy application as we discussed earlier. Now, if you see, I'm on the external teams here, I'm going to search in the search bar and say dashboard. Once you click on enter, what this is going to do is it is going to show you all the publicly available dashboards and you can go into the community and see all of them. These are different dashboards that people have designed. You can use any of these for inspiration, right? For this video, I'm going to use one of these templates over here and we'll just see how you can replicate the same in our Tableau dashboard. So what I'm going to do is I've clicked on it. Now I'm going to go ahead on the top right corner and click on open in Figma. Once you do that, this is going to show you the whole creation of the entire UI in the Figma application, as you can see now, right? And everything is basically like an object over here. So inside each of these frames, you can see multiple objects. For the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to adjust some of these containers and objects over here and I'm removing, as you can see, some of these text and numbers from the cards. And this is the template that I'm going to use in my Tableau dashboard. So now I have like a blank canvas over here. I'm going to go ahead, click on home and then click on export over here. And then I'm going to export this entire dashboard that we just created into a png file which is basically an image file once you are exporting this this is what we are going to use on our tableau dashboard so once this is exported and it's saved as a png file this is how it is going to look like don't forget to go to your figma file and always check the height and the width of the whole dashboard this has to be consistent with your tableau workbook so let's navigate to our Tableau workbook and let's start building this rounded containers in your dashboard. So what we are going to do over here, firstly adjust the width and the height, which is consistent with the dashboard that we just saw. And now add in a new dashboard onto your workbook, add in an image object and then choose the image that we have just downloaded and fit it and center it. You can see that it exactly fits into the canvas because the size of both the image as well as the dashboard are consistent. Now I'm quickly going to make a few sheets so that I can show you the KPI sheets so that I can show you how these containers would look like, right? So it's nothing major that we are doing. The containers in Tableau are simple, uh, rectangular or square in shape based on how the dimensions are for them but only by doing a small trick over here you can create an effect that the container behind is basically a rounded container sheet is created we'll go ahead and head back to our dashboard and bring this sheet onto the dashboard in the floating format so hold on shift and then bring it in make sure that it is a floating object okay you can fit this to an entire view and then resize so that it can fit in in the box that you have over here for the kpi card now you can also go ahead container and make sure that the background of this is colored as as blank 
so once that is ready you can see that the sheet is no longer visible and your behind the image is what is more visible i'm also going to go ahead and adjust the font color over here so that this is more prominent and you can also adjust the alignment of this particular sheet over here that we have got onto the dashboard once both of these are created if you head back to your dashboard you will be able to see the KPI card is sitting under the rounded rectangle. We've just created the effect that there is a rounded rectangle or a container and there is actually nothing like that. Now I'm also creating a simple looking spark line for some of sales over here. And this spark line also is something I'll bring into the KPI card that I have on the dashboard. Quickly format this and align it to how we would want it to look like. Remove all the grid lines, any additional zero lines, any axis line or anything like that. And you can also hide the headers. Once all of that is done, you can change the color and also add some dots to the line chart over here. Now let's head back onto our dashboard and bring this KPI sheet onto our total sales. Again, remember this has to be floating and not a tiled container. Now readjust the size of this and make sure that it fits well into the container. And again, like the previous sheet, you're going to remove the background color of the sheet again. So you can go ahead and format and remove the color as well. You can make the spark line look a little neater by reducing the size of the line. So that's what I'm doing right now. So as you can see, this is how your KPI chart can look like. You can add in more fields, more values, different things that you would want to on this same KPI uh, card that you have on the dashboard. So you can go ahead and replicate for the other ones that are on the right side. Those two other KPI cards could also be again looking rounded and still have the KPI value and a small spark line. Here is how you can also design a rounded container from scratch. So let's go ahead and begin first by looking into Figma and seeing how you can do that in Figma itself. Let's begin with a simple blank container over here. I'm going to use a rectangle object and draw a rectangle inside of which I'm also drawing another rectangle. You can change the fill color of the inner rectangle so that it's evident that there is a rectangle on top of it and adjust the corners of it to be rounded to 20 points. You can copy this and keep placing it in the outer rectangle. These rectangles could be of any shape and size as per your requirement and how you want to design the dashboard. Now, in case you do not have Figma or do not want to use Figma, you can also use PowerPoint here. I have a simple sheet over here in the presentation. I'm going to go into the insert menu and click shapes. Here again, you can draw a simple rectangle and inside of that rectangle, we are going to place a rounded end, curved end rectangle. So just draw that in and you can further adjust the corner sizes of this particular object that you've just added onto your dashboard. Similar to Figma, you can copy paste these containers and adjust them the height and the width of these containers as per your need and specifications and requirements. These can have different colors, shapes, forms and whatever requirements suits your dashboard. Same can be followed over here on this particular dashboard. Always remember the height and the width of the whole container should match your dashboard so that the image can fit properly into the dashboard with that i come to an end of this interesting video where we discovered how you can have rounded corners container onto your dashboard we explored two methods one is by using figma and the other one is by using powerpoint you can do this from scratch or use some external resources to get motivated and design great dashboards i hope you will continue with me on this beautiful journey of data if you like this video, please don't forget to hit on the subscribe button and do like and comment your thoughts on this particular video. I'll see you on the next one. Until then, bye bye.